Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the tune-up for the Ford LTD. These just came in today. We got a new distributor cap. Only the finest quality Ford. We got new plug wires here and new AC Delco spark plugs. So we're going to be installing these today, hopefully. So let's get this thing just backed out a little bit so we can move around in here and start changing some spark plugs. Ever since I first bought this car, there's this this plug has always been just chilling out. I I've looked, I don't I don't know where it goes to. I mean it goes it goes to the back of the alternator, but I don't know where else it would really go to really. So if you guys know, post down in the comments what you guys think it goes to. Taking a look at these plug wires, they don't look too bad. They've totally been replaced before, but I did buy a new one, so do we just replace them or I don't know. So for the spark plugs, they have to be your spark plugs have to be gapped a certain a certain way. And on Fords, it normally says on the valve cover right here. So this gap it says 0 .048 through 0 .052. So. I have a spark plug gapper, so we're just gonna do that. So here's what a spark plug gapper looks like. It's just like this circle. It's from O'Reilly's. It's kind of hard to see, but there's like 0.020, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, goes to 100. And you can see how it turns. It makes, it goes thinner and then wider. So I don't know if you can see that. See how this plug looks. All right, we got our first plug here. You guys can look at it. These are auto lights. 26. Here's what it looks like. This one's really gassy and like old oil. You can see the tip right there. It's kind of black looking. These are the new ones. So, well, let's see if the gap was actually right. It says about 0.48. It was about 0.40 actually, because you can feel the tension right at the 0.04. It needs to be at the 0 0.08, so these weren't even gapped right. So that could be why we had a small miss. And when you pull them out, make sure you put them right here, or in there, it doesn't matter. But So you know that this was the first cylinder right here, and then you just go in line so you know where it was at, you know, so you don't get them all mixed up.
four years later, got four of them out. Here they are, all in a line. So, they're pretty dirty actually. They smell like old oil and gas, so I'm gonna pop these in. I'm not, should we do the plug wires? Should we? I mean, what do you think we should do? I also got a cap for it because the underneath of this, the points or whatever spark things on them, they looked kind of wore out, so. All right, so as I was gonna film the next scene, my camera died, so uh, couldn't really film anything else. It's actually the next day we're here. Changed all the plugs yesterday and I started it up and the engine was shaking like this back and forth, so I had to retake them all out. Regap them because I didn't know how to do it actually. Put it back up, put them all back in. And I actually did the plug wires just because I had them. So, and the cap, by the way. So, now it's all done. I wish I filmed more, but I couldn't. So, guess we'll start up here. Show you guys how it runs. Right in driving it but the miss this tiny little misfire is even smaller now so you can barely even hear it now so but it still runs so that's good 